Now, when I first seen this hotel, I was surprised. I couldn't believe it. I am Bruce Jordan. I'm former ISG corporate and I manage over $1 billion in assets and $300 million in revenue. While Michael Jordan is the basketball, Bruce Jordan is the same to the hotel industry. My main goal is to make your hotel more money. And this is another episode of Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts. Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts. Um, today we're going we're at the Country Inn and Suites by Radisson at Orlando Airport. Now, when I first seen this hotel, I said, holy cow, this is amazing. I couldn't believe that this hotel, you know, had such a unique and simple layout and design and it still looked amazing to me. And I love that, I guess that's part of the country look is to, for it to be simple but elegant. Now, housekeeping did an amazing and incredible job. I wasn't able to find any housekeeping issues whatsoever. I wasn't able to find any stains on the sheets. So my hat goes off for housekeeping, ace in my book, ready to rock with you anytime. I love the fact that they have their own branded um, soap. So when someone, they know that, hey, this is the country and it's soap, like that's, that's, that's incredible branding in itself. A lot of hotels tend to skip that smaller detail in order to save on revenue, I get it. But sometimes you just gotta stand out a little bit. Now, this is my first time actually staying at a country inn and suites. So I'm glad it was this one, close to the airport. Um, I think they still have airport shuttle services that's that's going on. And everything, everyone here is moving and shaking. Now, this place just went through a renovation um, back in November. And there's some things that they kept and some things that they actually changed. And of course, I think the changes were for the better. One of them was the carpet. The carpet looks 10 times better than it did when it first uh, went before they did their renovation. I'm gl so glad that they had made that change. One thing that I thought was a little bit unique is that they didn't spend the money for the lamps that have the USB ports. So instead, they said, you know what? We'll go ahead and get regular lamps and just put charging stations inside of the room. So they have these little charging stations that have um, USB ports and plugs that's right on the nightstand. Now, one plus for me, I know it's gonna be a little corny, but I, whenever I go, out, go to a hotel, I, I love to feel like the sense of home. And they had these pictures inside of the bathroom that, that gave the hotel that homey feel to it. Cause you rarely, you rarely see artwork inside of the, inside of the bathroom, especially when it comes to a mid grade hotel. So I thought that was a unique touch. Now, before COVID, this place was pretty much just all sold out. The rates were like 200 to $300 a night and they were rocking and rolling. Um, but now that COVID has hit and we're in the middle of a pandemic, their, their occupancy is slowly starting to increase, but their, their rates aren't following suit. So right now they're, they're occupancy, occupancy in between like 50, 60% and their rates range anywhere from all the way down to $50 all the way up to $80. So you know, there's it's still gonna be a struggle to get there, but they are, they're working on it. Now, one thing I really like about this hotel is that even though they're in the middle of a pandemic, they're not gonna let the pandemic define who they are define what their standards are and define what their values are. In the middle of a pandemic, they went from 36 employees to six employees. And when it comes to cleanliness and standards, they haven't missed a beat. Now, I did find one maintenance issue. This is the only thing I was able to find. <laughs> and that was, there was a small leak underneath the sink. Um, the reason why I find a lot of maintenance issues is because I used to work maintenance. It's, it's part of management training. So, you know, things like this is something that I usually found inside of the, uh, the maintenance inspection. But you got, this place has 136 rooms and six employees. So you can imagine how well they're going to find these maintenance issues that, that, you know, that we, at every hotel has. Now, I love what they're doing for COVID. This hotel, it has logs, like disinfected logs and elevators 
and throughout the entire hotel so you can see when was the last time they actually cleaned the room so it's visual there's no guessing and guests love it and i love it now let's talk of revenue for a quick second i love the pool area like it looks magical and mystical when you go out there and look at that pool but they don't have any good pool shots on their OTA listings or on their Google listings. I think that's criminal. The other thing is that when you look on their Google listing, you still see old pictures of the hotel before the renovation, which is the last thing you want at your hotel. You should always remove all of those pictures um, that, that was up uh, prior to the renovation. So I feel like they're, they're missing the ball on that one and there's a little room for improvement there. And of course, the downside is they're still handing out paper. You know how I feel about paper. Get rid of all the paper, send a text message. It's very simple and easy to do. Just hit attach, let them know what this is. This is where they're going. I just sent you a text message with a map, Wi-Fi calls and everything that you need and you're good to go. Stop wasting paper. We can't afford it. You gotta save that paper. Literally, save the paper. Now for revenue on the OTA listings, I found that their rates was a little confusing. Um, I hope this isn't like the new norm for hotels because you're gonna have a lot of confused guests. You had one room that had six different rates for the same room type. So you have a room type that has six different rates and the, none of the offers was prepaid. Like I can understand you have like a couple of different prepaid offers for the same room, but none of the offers were prepaid and all the room all the room prices were different so it didn't make any sense to me but all in all i really love the property and i really had a good stay i loved i love their courage and their courageousness the way they were to able to not use the pandemic as a scapegoat and keep true to their values and keep true to their quality to make their brand stand out country in and sweets and you know what's most important breakfast they they used to have buffet style nice buffet style breakfast but due to the pandemic they're back to they're back back to brown bagging it but what i like is that they were they they were smart they said due to the fact that we don't have the buffet anymore what we're going to do is we're going to extend our breakfast hours so even though you're getting a brown bag when it comes to the breakfast the breakfast hours is like from 7 to 11 which is close to checkout time. So that was a great idea. Now let's get down to these scores. First, let's start off with operations. For operations, I gave them an 8.5. Great fitness center. I love the way everything is ran pretty smooth. Um, don't have any issues, any problems. The pool look clean. So they know what they're doing. And even the general manager is getting into the mix out there hustling, bustling. Went from GM to housekeeping, to maintenance, to the grounds. GM just does it all. Kind of reminds me of myself. So due to the fact that they know what they're doing, they're getting the job done and they're not making any excuses and blaming everything on the pandemic, I'm going to give them an 8.5 for operations. Now, the pandemic, of course, is going to change things for breakfast, but they're doing a, They made the right moves. They're brown bagging it, saving on the cost because their rates are way too low to support anything else. And they extended breakfast hours. So you could go get your brown bag from 7 to 11 and you're still good to go and you're still the rock. So for breakfast, I'm going to give them an 8.0. Now the revenue score. Even though their, their OTA listings are a little confusing, they have a lot of competition in this area because this course is right next to the airport. And they're still able to hold their own, but still able to stay strong with six employees. So when it comes to revenue, they're getting the reservations. Not all of them, they can get more, they can do better but they're, they're getting what they need to survive. So for revenue, I'm going to give them an 8.5. Thank you for tuning to another episode of Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts. And you know what we do, making your revenues rise up once again.